Benjamin Netanyahu is speaking out in front of that security cabinet meeting, sounding defiant in the face of what he said was mounting international pressure. And his words very clear there, um, we will operate in Rafa. Now, he said that that operation uh, will take several weeks, so we don't know whether that means it will be in several weeks or whether the military operation itself will take several weeks. Um, but there he, he sounded his determination to go on, uh, despite international calls for him, uh, the Israeli army, not to um, undertake a major ground offensive there. Uh, he did, though, talk about the what he called essential need to evacuate civilians. It is not clear how that could take place. Aid agencies we've spoken to have underlined the huge logistical difficulties, some say impossibilities of, of doing that. Um, but the words there that Benjamin Netanyahu used, saying that we say to some of our friends in the international community that it seems they have forgotten the 7th of October. And this is coming on the day when Olaf Scholz, the German chancellor, will arrive for talks with Netanyahu in Israel. Now, he's already stopped off in Jordan on his trip to the Middle East, where he met with Jordanian King Abdullah. And there he said, Said, um, he stressed the need for a lasting ceasefire and asked about an Israeli invasion of Rafah, um, said that that would make regional peace much more difficult.